recently, we have heard reports that the United States is negotiating with the Lao People's <laughs> Democratic Republic government to allow the deportation of more than 4,000 plus Hmong and Lao refugees who have resettled and started a new life here in this country for decades. What we're talking about are those family members who have asylum, who have seeked refugee status, who have it, who are here as permanent residents. These are the folks that we're fighting for to be treated as if they are American like you or me. Any American that commits a crime, they serve their time, right? Anyone who commits a crime is found guilty, they serve their time. That's the proper way to handle it. And that's what we are asking for. Deportation is not part of the punishment for our American citizens. And that's what's going on. Laos has one of the worst record of human rights violations in the world. To eat, to sleep in a place they do not understand, a place that their parents spoke of that they feared for their life. Now you are putting that back into our community. That is wrong. The United States have been home to hundreds of thousands of Hmong over the past four decades. America is all we know. This is a country of immigrants and diversity. That is why it is the most influential, powerful, and strongest nation in the world. I have a, a friend that I did not know was on the deportation list and said, Bobby, I don't want to die in the jungle. I've never been to Laos. That's what he said. And we are here to fight for those folks.